Greetings Internet, this is BJ Black and welcome to part two of my Let's Play of the demo of per part three of Paradox RPG. I'm almost quest Paradox RPG. And today we get to figure out these rebellions. Starting with the one that's most easily accessible, the one in the Elf Village. So this is Horai Mountain which is connected to the Elf Village. Tamo said that she split up the barrier that was on the mountain, but... Oh, who's this? An intruder! We'll defeat you! The village right now is in an unusual state. If we allow people to set foot in the village, we'll be blessed with... Uh, cursed with misfortune. Ah, so here they are to greet us. Sorry, but we're coming through, even if, if even by force. It looks like we'll be convincing them, so can't be helped. Let's do it. Princess, I'm so sorry. Well, if the barrier on the mountain were in force, they wouldn't need this guards to be doing this, so as she said, Tamo must have dispelled the barrier. So let's continue forward. It looks like there are strong warriors from the village wandering around, so just beat them up. Or take care of encounters before you even come here like smart adventurers. Hey, wasn't there an elf village on the top of the mountain? All we've got here is a stone monument. Who would build a, a village at the top of a snow-covered mountain? This stone monument is a transportation dev device that'll take us to the village. So you're saying this magic device is going to warp us to the village. Well, we're warping into the center of enemy territory, so we better be ready for a fight when we get here. Right! Bring it on! We're going to beat up all the elves all together. So then, I'm activating it. Come, take us to the Elf Village. And here we have the Elf Village. At such a trouble in some time we have visitors? Oh no, the residents have spotted us. Please don't start any trouble while you're here. In preparation for battle, everybody's on their edge right now. They're not attacking us, huh? Well, it looks like the guard doesn't need to be so strict here as it was on Hall Rye Mountain. Well, either we start by gathering information or we head straight for the Elf Mansion. Hmm. So inside the village, the guard is loose, huh? But still, the Elf Mansion, the Elf Princess's Mansion, probably won't be so easy. As expected, perhaps we should start by gathering information. First of all, we don't even know why the Elf Princess decided to start this rebellion. She's in... She's a shut-in to an extreme degree. She doesn't want to rule or to expand her territory. She doesn't even want to come out of her room and she's satisfied. Why would she start such a thing? If we understand the reason, maybe we'll be able to convince her. Convince her to stop meaning. So let's go ask around in the village. Oh uh, yeah, no, I don't feel like it. Here we are at the mansion. But first, 
We got someone loitering around. Loiter, loiter. Well, here we have an idiot who loiters about saying loiter, loiter. Jeez, you're always fault finding. I hate you. Oh, Luca. Let's flirt a bit. He's not doing it. What the hell? Some unknown person's gotten mad at me. We don't know you either. Uh, anyway. What are you doing here? Are you here to defeat the Elf Princess? Uh, yeah, about that. In the true history, the Elf Princess didn't start a rebellion. She just stayed locked up, cooped up in her village, and she had no effect on the history. But now we've got this rebellion going on. Whether I should crush it myself or leave it to Luca here, Luca and you guys, I'm a little lost. Hmm. You say that there was no such rebellion in the true history, huh? Well, even in the true history, Black Alice did open communication lines with her, but she ignored him and stayed cooped up in her mansion. But still, in this history, she went along with it. How did this come to happen, I wonder? By the way, you. Did you come, as we expect, from the true history? By the look of you, you're of my bloodline. Well, something like that. But, I'm stronger than you are. Ah. Jeez, you're so, imp so impudent. Just how were you raised? I'll get tired trying to deal with this uh, rude child. Luca, how about we go to that tea house and get something to fill my stomach? Oh, I'll come too. Look, we don't have time for that right now. Look, I bought a couple of dango earlier. Here, Alice, Alice. It's sweet, it's tasty. They seem to detest each other, but they're quite similar in the end. Okay, great. No, we still want to talk to her. Oh, that's right. Hey, Mom. Mom? Uh, I'm the type of person who accidentally calls people Mom from time to time. It really hurts. The hell's up with that? That truly is painful. Hmm. As if everybody doesn't know the secret. Okay. These guys are say, telling us to pull back. This is the old princess's mansion. If you want to continue further, we won't have mercy on you. Wow. At the front gate, the guards are really thick. Furthermore, it looks like if we try and push through, there's going to be reinforcements on top of these. And perhaps it is unadvisable to go in through the front way. What should we do? Do it! Do it! Let's make a sh showy declaration of war here. Ah, Morgan's funny, but there's a little more we want to see before we start fights. This is a Kunoichi Arachne. Uh, there's no entry past this way. Go on. Head on away. Well, we don't know where this is go this goes through to. So rather than pushing our way through needlessly. Well that's Okay, to push ourselves our way through needlessly is excessively dangerous. Mm-hmm, yeah, sure. But if we talk to this person... At the princess's mansion, the front gate is pretty, is pretty secure. 
but from what I've heard, it seems there's a way in the backside where it's easy to enter. Ah, oh, so there's a back entrance to the mansion. That's useful information we've got our hands on. Okay. This girl says the same thing again. This, according to what we've heard, is the back entrance to the mansion. The guards seem to be less dense here. The, well, let's say the guard is thin here. Do we want to fight through here? Rather than going thin through, through the front gate, this should this is the recommended way in. So let's go. And yeah. Over this way, it's like five rounds of fighting with three enemies each. And if we go this way... Alright, let's do it! No way! An enemy attack! To think that they would attack in the unguarded, relatively, rear entrance. Ah yeah, to think. One battle, two enemies. Looks like reinforcements are not coming. All right, let's head on into the mansion. Okay, we've entered into the mansion. Let's meet with the elf princess and figure out what her true intentions are. In order to do that, we'll have to search out her room. All right, let's go. Aw, patrolling is just no fun. You guys, if you see anybody suspicious, tell me, okay? Even in the general headquarters of all the shinobi, we got idiots around. Yeah, it's not like we're suspicious or anything. And now that we've gotten in the back door, we can go freely in and out the front door too. But whatever. Anyway, most of these doors are just plain white with a little blue at the bottom. But over here we have special doors. What's behind the special doors? Oh, it seems this is the room of the health princess. But it won't open. Although it's a Fusuma. A Fusuma is this type of door. It is locked. Which I guess is odd for Fusuma. Yeah, whatever. She must be impressively shut in. I feel someone's presence inside. Hey, you're in there, aren't you? Come on out. Hmm, no good, huh? Looks like she won't listen to us. Let's search out the key. And somehow get the door open. For sure, somebody's got to have a key. Let's start asking around for, for the people. Asking around amongst the people in the mansion. You guys, are you always having to do such troublesome workarounds? Huh, truly, it's pretty tough. Cute. <laughs> Nudico, you too have had it pretty tough. Alright, this is the next person we need to talk to. Oh no, I've been found while I was slacking off. I'll give you some information I managed to pick up, so... Would you keep quiet about this, please? The princess is always locked away in her room, but... There are three... But there are... Close retainers to her. Her close trusted advisors. And they do have a key. A key to the elf princess's room, huh? Well, we need to get our hands on that. So those trusted retainers, do you know where they are now? That is something I don't actually know. You'll have to go ask someone else. 
Yeah, that's great, but I'm tired of asking people. Let's just cut straight to the answer. Oh, how busy, busy we are. Princess, the princess is so noisy about her tastes, after all. Hey, you guys. It's a bit inconvenient for you. It's a bit rude to say this, but would you mind not bothering us? If we're late in our preparations of her meal, it'll harm the princess's mood. All right, we've heard that you guys have a key to the princess's room. Would you, quietly, give that key to us? And telling us to do it, do you think we're just gonna do it? You troublemakers who are want to push into, who want to trespass in the princess's room, we're your enemies. You don't fight any harder than the guys at the entrance of the mountain though. So, elf key, we get one. Ah, oh, princess, forgive us. What do we do? She's going to be so angry. Yeah, the least we can do is prepare her a feast in order to soothe her anger. So, that being the case, would you mind not interrupting us? If we're late with the preparation for the meal, it'll hurt her mood. So they return to what they were doing. Okay, great. A healing pot. And this is an interesting thing down here. Don't give an elixir to this pot here. It's going to cause trouble. This pot. Come on, I'm warning you about that pot. Don't give her an elixir. Then there's a voice from inside the pot. Give me an elixir! Do we give her an elixir? I've only got 99, so I better keep it for myself. And now there's no longer a voice from inside. Anyway. We've got a key, let's go in. Alright, the lock opened. Hey, anyway, you've been listening at the door to see who's out here, right? There's no place for you to hide anymore. Alright, here we go. Let's ask her the true meaning behind this revolution, rebellion of hers. Um... So she peeks out from the from the seams of the folded curtains and points out at the top of her desk. It seems she's telling us to read the letter on the desk. Mm-hmm, sure. This is just a crystal. Crystal ball, basically. There's going to be some blah blah about it, but it's just a bit of a setting context. Hey, get back here. We want to beat you up. Yeah, we can't actually get through here, but she can. So unfair. It's a letter from the Elf Princess. It seems like it's addressed to Luca. Do we want to read it? Do we want to read it? Yeah, we don't have a lot of choice. My beloved Luca-sama, I heard that you would be coming to visit. So, I'm writing you this letter. When I think back on it, the time when we first met, something I remember from when they first met was that Luca decided they would be pin pals. And here she is, writing a letter to Luca, so... At least she paid attention. <clears throat> Luca. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna skip over the irrelevant stuff. So he reads on a... Past the irrelevant... The unimportant bits.
Here, the reason I've revolted against the Mao by military force. That is the Mao's horrible scheme. If we we'll, if the Mao completes her ambition, this village will collapse. For that reason, So, I resolve to emerge from this sanctuary and fight boldly. No, you haven't emerged at all, have you? I'm presently going to emerge. Mm hmm. Do your best. That is just how terrible the Mao's scheme is. And that is... That is where the letter ends. The hell is this? The most important... We can't understand the most important like this, part like this. That's because you came in when I was in the middle of writing it. Okay, she's got a point. Uh, anyway, Black Alice, put some nonsense into your head. You're Princess of the Elves. Don't let baseless rumors manipulate you. You're wrong. That's not how it is. The village, this room, this sanctuary. I'm fighting to protect them. You know, the way she sounds, it actually makes it sound like this room is her sanctuary and not the village. And to her, maybe yeah, it is. Wow, such a uh, spirit. This shut and actually managed to de browse up such resolve. Well, there's a reason that we two can't pull back. This rebellion will cause disorder in the world. It will cause meaningless sacrifices. If you're going to interfere, no matter who you are, I won't hold back. Even if you are the man I love. Hmm. This elf princess, although she looks like this, is actually an accomplished martial artist. Don't let your guards down. Look, Asama. Please forgive me for subduing you by force. By the time you have woken up, the wedding and everything will be completed. That is a problem. Then we just need to not lose. Let's do this. No way. I have lost. Jeez making us burn our hands on this. And just what did the Black Alice put into your head? Black Alice's support subordinates told me the Mao's plan. Her vile scheme. She is going to exterminate all life. Uh, that... Um, yeah, about that. This is Izanami. So, I have not deceived the princess. What I have told her is the truth. This princess cannot be won over for selfish, with selfish appeals. All I did was tell her the Mao's plan as it was. That's right. I can't forget. I can't allow such a horrible plan. Look, there's a reason behind that plan. Her objective is not slaughter. It's in order to send souls off to another world. Oh wait, in order to explain, 
in order to make her understand that, we have to explain about the parallel worlds and all that stuff. But you brought this rebellion in the elf village to a standstill. It seems you guys like to interfere with the feast. <laughs> What's this feast? Anyway, you are going down. Oh. No. I have agreed to put her to death. Grambelia? It took me a lot of trouble to get this far. But fortunately, the conversation has progressed to the point where the villain reveals herself. It took you a lot of trouble to get this far, you say. You, being who you are and everything, had trouble with the guards of this mansion. I don't like unnecessary interlopers further. Ones that are further by one with eyes like a kicked dog. What are you... Hmm. Getting so... Flinching at such a simple provocation. Swordsmen do, do not know the meaning of serenity. Should not stand in my presence. Good. Of the ones who are here, you are the weakest. I've heard you are a formidable opponent, but it seems the that's not all it's cracked up to be. So, what of you, Lot? Show me your power, and we'll see if you're bo if you are dull persons like this lizard. Even if you didn't tell us we're showing you our power, here you go. Subordinate of Black Alice, who are inside of the civilian. We won't let you bring disorder to the world anymore. Well, this is an impressive feat of strength. Going further than this will exceed the range of observing. So, she wasn't even serious. Of course, this is still nothing more than preparation for the feast. Black Alice likes it lively, it seems. And you lot, come, liven up the feast. You should look, you should be looking forward to it. Ugh, she ran away, did she? Awkward. Well, we chased off the mastermind, but how are we going to put this situation in order? There's nothing to be said. I was unable to successfully accomplish my mission this time. These victories are... These uh, losses are piling up, and I'm unable to complete my mission. I wasn't even able to protect my liege. My sword is already extremely powerless. The next time that we meet, let's make it my final battle.
And Grand Barilla leaves the place. Drambelia, she's exceedingly frustrating. Frustrated. Before her eyes, my mother, her liege, was killed. So, I guess that's not unreasonable. Probably, she'll stand before us in the Mao Castle. And that's what she's calling the final battle. Oh yeah, you. So, Elf Princess, about the Maul's plan, I'll explain everything. I'm glad she does it the short way because it took an hour and a half a couple of videos ago. No way, all of the worlds are heading towards extinction. And the only method to save it people, is to send their souls off to another world. In order to do that, all life has to die once. Everybody. Everybody. All of them. Well, it's natural for you to waver here. But in opposition to the destruction that is coming, get Get out! All of you, get out of my room! Oh, hey, look, wait. And we're chased out of the Elf Princess's room. It looks like she received quite a shock. Quite a shock. Well, that's only natural, though. Even we... It seems like more than we can handle sometimes. To a shut-in. Well, she just couldn't take it. Well, even saying so, she's completely lost her will to foment her little rebellion. So this incident is, with this, come to a close. Yep, what we need to do is complete. I guess. Still, do we want to leave her like this? Logging in. Asa Miko. Um, is there somebody there? The old princess is mumbling something or other to herself in there. Is she broken? No, this is SNS. The Sui Shou Crystal Network System. She, there's a network of her friends using communication ma magic that she's communicating with. You see, you see? The world's going to be destroyed. Asamiko. She's so shocked, shocked. Ah, Mimi chan. Midori no kimi mo iru no. Yeah. So she's saying hi to Mimi chan and Midori no Kimi, two of her friends. Now that it's come to this, I'm going to stay up all night drinking. Oh, Elixir, Elixir Super Love. That's another friend's name. So you're going to drink along with me? That's right. Let's stay up late drinking remotely until the final day. Well, it hurts me to leave her uh, martial arts buried in her room like this. But it doesn't seem like we'll be able to convince her otherwise. Okay, let's talk to the door again. So it will, is completely shut, even though we still have the key, presumably. Whatever. And it's not letting in any visitors. Maybe one of the Elf Princess's relatives could convince her. Let's bring the Queen Elf along with us. 
Alright, I can do that. Freya, gonna need you here. Now I guess I'm kind of taking more time than I need to in doing this, but whoops. I skipped a couple of boxes of dialogue. Sorry, guys. Anyway, Freya rides into the Health Princess's room. Just how long do you plan on living like this? Call on, get out there. Get out of here, get out of here. A healthy spirit resides in a healthy body. Come on, let's get to the Colosseum and reforge your mod body and mind. I live on willpower and idealism, you gerontocratic old hag. Look, I'm thinking of you when I say to the when I say these things to you. Toxic parenting! I'm not your parent. Toxic strangering. Who are you calling a stranger? This is not working. So Freya was beaten back out of the elf princess's room. Ah, I'm sorry. It seems like no uh, half measures are going to convince her. Mimi-chan, Midori no Kimi, Elixir Super Love, are you all there? Hey, hey, listen, this relative of mine, the, the old hag, widened, etc., etc. Mimi-chan, Midori no Kimi, Elixir Super Love. Are those her net friends? Yeah, they too should be shut-ins or someone who is extremely close in outlook to the elf princess. Perhaps if we bring them along, we will be able to skillfully convince her. Could it be possible that, we'll, that we are able to draw her into our ally, into our alliance? Okay, one more time. Really? Old hags are the worst. Come to think of it, Midori no Kimi, you said your workplace was black or something. And that's the end of the hints you get. So let's head on back to the Mao castle and collect the necessary characters. Mimi Chan is obvious. Whoops. So, first, Mimi Chan, obviously. Mimi! Next. I'm gonna put Minelli in my party just for fun. And then. Who was that third one? Oh, yes. Midori no Kimi. Translating to the Green Ruler, roughly. Now, she also said that her sis, her workplace was black, which is a reference to a, an event we had a while back. So the answer is Priestess. And back to the village. You may recall that I didn't get anybody who matches the description of Elixir Super Love. But anyway. Oh no. Mimi says. I'm just going to tell you. Mimi Chan is not me. I'm an outdoor type. I like to roam, that is to that is to say, mess up fields. So Mimi was a mistake. Uh Mineri apparently has something to say, even though I brought her on for no particular reason. 
But how about Elixir Super Love? Well, this magic pot here says, Give me an Elixir! I've only got 99, but okay, let's see. Actually, who knows how many tries it'll take if I don't get ready. So let's make sure everybody's ready to talk to her. And also not berserked, because that would be a problem. Now I should be able to get recruit her in relatively few battles. Alright, one elixir for you. Oh, I I'll kind of give away the fact. Yay, I got one. If you give her an elixir, she fights you. Anyway. She starts with liking us about 25%. But we want to get that up to 100% with this skill that adds 25 each. And we also want to invite her to be our ally, which will trip our her chances. Oh yeah, pro tip, before this fight, make sure all of your enemy, all of your party is immune to death. Because she can cast death on your entire party all at once. That's... That's a sucky way to go out. Anyway, we're ready. Let's knock her out. Well, this isn't expected. There we go. And she does want to be our ally. Great. Yay, yay. By the way, give me a potion. And give me an elixir. And the mag magic pot has been added to our allies. Our party's full. Hmm. Mimi. It turns out you weren't Mimi-chan, so... Head on back to the Mao Castle for me, would ya? Minya. So we recruited her, sort of, but this event still has to play out like we didn't recruit her. Well, programs have limits. Hey, we gave you your food and you attacked us! Are you screwing with us? That's why I warned you. This girl, no matter how many times we smack her down, she just doesn't learn. Elixa, troll or die. <laughs> Alright, now we have the three characters we need Mimi chan, Midori no Kimi, Elixir, Super Love. Oh, I get it now. Mimi chan is our mimic. Who to guessed? Pot of. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Her name is Pot of. Pot of what? Ask her, I don't know. And finally, the green ruler. Everyone, we should pitch in and help out here. Well, for the sake of Asumiko, it can't be helped. Jeez. She's so troublesome to care for. Huh? What? What, what? What's happening? So, Priestess knocks on the door. How many times must I tell you before you understand? I don't feel like seeing anyone in reality. Meaning she just wants to see them online. Well, I do understand your feelings, but... Could you somehow open the door for us? That voice. Could it be Midori no Kimi? I, too, want to stay shut in until I die, but it is now. Using dead vocabulary perfectly and leaving your sentences unfinished. Could it be Mimi Cham? Well, well, from time to time, let's play in real life. Drinking elixirs together and everything. Elixir, super love, even you. Everyone. Everyone came for me. Slowly. The door starts to open. Ugh, we did it! 
Everyone, you went through the trouble to come. To draw me out of my room. You know I am in a position of ruling some of the plant tribes. Or all of them if you went through that part of the quest. Anyway. There isn't a day that goes by that I haven't thought that I want to shut myself away. And I too. I've been shut away for years. But even now, I don't like the shiny stuff. Meaning light, <laughs> I think. She doesn't like light. But if you don't get some sunlight from time to time, your skin will go bad. Everyone. Is this a scene where I'm supposed to feel emotionally moved? I don't get it at all. Go explode somewhere, you extrovert. Hey, don't say that, Asumiko. That girl, she's got the position of the childhood friend, you see. A heroine who's going to lose. She's so... She's so pitiable. I hate these guys. Anyway, won't you come along with us? The Pocket Mallow Castle also has some pretty good places to hide away. Me don't you know, Kimi. If you go so far as to say that much. Then you... Yeah, Japanese emoji. Uh, I don't think I can explain this. My party's already full. Do I want to get rid of someone? Well, I want to point out her name is Asuka Mei. Do you remember her name? Her screen name is Asumiko. So Asa comes from the first two syllables of her name. Miko is, well, it could mean shrine maiden, or it could mean divine child, or divine heir. In any case, Asu means the first, the beginning of her name. But anyway, I don't want her in my party. She's kind of annoying. I just don't understand young people nowadays. Me neither. Sonia, you're younger than they are. Asha! Okay, I have just a couple more things to show you. Back in the Pocket Mahal Castle. Going to toss these three. Now, this isn't really important. But I want to show everybody where our elf princess decided to shut up in our castle. Hey, come on. Fine, be that way. See that door? The elf princess has decided to build herself a little room that we actually can't get into, and she shut herself in there. And the other thing in the pocket Mahalo castle is, there's been a new zone added in this demo here, and I'll just show it to you really quick. I mean, there's nobody in it yet, but it's here. It's called the Sealed Tower, I believe. Kind of cozy, if you like ruins. And that's what I got to show for you today. Next time we're going to go over to the Tanoki and Fox Villages. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>